Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create your own Dropbox that links directly to your Google Drive. Users who are anonymous can actually go to this website, upload files directly to the folder in your Google Drive, no sign in necessary. All they have to do is actually go to this website, put their name, browse, find their file, and then upload, and that's it. Okay, it's going to go directly to your Google Drive. I want to give credit to Holman ITRT. This is where I got the information. His name is Doug Sanders, and he actually created the script. So uh, kudos to you, Doug Sanders. Okay, the first step we're going to do is we're going to type in this URL in the URL bar. It's right here. And we're going to click on Enter. Okay, as you can see, I'm already signed into my Google Drive. The first step, make sure you do this, is you're going to click on File and make a copy. It could be a school account or a regular Google account. Okay, so now we have our copy. We could just click on here and rename it. We could rename it to something maybe like uh, Dropbox and click OK. Okay, so we renamed our project. It's called Dropbox, and now it is our script. We could customize it any way we want to. All right, so we've made a copy. The second thing we're going to do is, if you see on line 12, the name of our, of our Dropbox here is Work Collector. We could change the name of our Dropbox. Okay, this is our variable, and this is our Dropbox name. We're going to change this to something that you want. Why don't we change it to public uploads? Okay, and this is going to be the name of our folder. You're not making any folder, Google Drive is automatically making it for you. So as soon as you click on save, it's going to make this folder in your Google Drive account. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to line 25, which is right here, and File uploaded successfully, that's just a common courtesy is when the anonymous user uploads the file or photo, it just tells them, you know, thank you, your file was uploaded successfully. You can actually change that. I'm going to change it, customize it, put thank you, explanation point, and I'm going to get rid of plusfile.getURL. Okay? So this is what we should have on line 25. And we're going to go up here and we're going to click on save. Okay, as you can see here, this is my Dropbox and what I want you to do is you your company or maybe your school has a some kind of a banner or a logo. So I want you to just get a logo. And I want you to go to Dropbox sign in. So go to dropbox.com. And I want you to click sign in and you're going to sign in. Now this is your Dropbox dashboard and as you can see every single Dropbox has a public folder. Okay, it's right here. We're going to click on public and we're going to upload a banner. Okay, just uploaded. We're going to click on done. And we're going to click on our test banner, make sure it's blue, and you're going to put copy public link. Copy to clipboard. As you can see here, this link has a .jpg. It actually includes the file extension name. I know a lot of you are saying, why not just use Google for everything? Upload this picture to Google Drive, make it public, and copy the link. Can't do that, because if you actually take notice of the photos that you upload in your Google Drive folder, the link that you share with people does not have the file the file extension at the end. Okay? So we're going to copy this. Right click, and copy it. And we're going to go back on our Dropbox. And we're going to click on form.html. As you can see here on the script, Doug Sanders 
actually put in his own little logo or header. Okay, it's really cute. It's, it's a Google type of logo with a girl with braids. Very, very cute. Very simple. But we're going to customize it because we're customizing our own Dropbox today. So we're going to click on his image source. We're going to leave the quotations. Click backspace. And in between the quotations, we're going to right click and paste. Okay, so now this is our banner. Remember, it was in the public Dropbox folder. And we're going to click on Save. And we're going to go back to our Google script. All right, so we have everything now. We renamed our Google script. We changed the name of our public uploads folder. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on Publish, Deploy as Web App, and of course this is our first project version so we're going to stay new execute the app as you, you're already signed into your Google account who has access to the app? you have a couple of options here you could choose only students and, and teachers uploading files because they'd have to sign in with their school domain anyone or anyone even anonymous I'm going to choose anyone even anonymous because if it's, if it's a company you want people to actually upload photos or files to the Dropbox. So, so we're going to choose anyone, even anonymous. We're going to click deploy. Click continue. It needs authorization. You know, Google's safe like that. Dropbox, which is the name of your script, would like to view and manage your files in your Google Drive, which means it's actually going to make that folder. Click accept. And here we go. Deploy as web app. What you're going to do now is you're just going to click here and you're going to copy this URL because this is this is the link that you need to embed on your website or maybe in an email or something. Okay, click OK. The last thing we're going to do, let's see, run and then do get. And that's it. All right, everyone, let's take a look at our Dropbox, see if it works okay. We're going to click up here. We copied our Google script URL, and we're going to paste it in, and we're going to click Enter. And here is our Dropbox. Let's type in my name, browse, get a file, click up Upload File, and see what we get. It says thank you, and that's it. Now the only thing you have to do to see what gets uploaded to your public uploads folder is you log on to Google Drive and as you can see here, here's your Dropbox Google script and here's your public uploads folder. Google Drive already made the folder for you, you don't have to do anything, the script already did it. Double click on it and as you can see this is the picture that I just uploaded. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Please follow me on Twitter at Krista Wells and I am I love making tutorials on graphic and web design and also on Google Apps for Education. Thank you. Bye.